Hey folks, thought I'd make a quick screencast here showing a new trick that I came up with today to help in a fairly tedious repetitive task that I've been working on. What I'm doing is going through the counterpoint book that I've been editing and adding uh, captions for each of the examples to say exactly which piece it is by J.S. Bach that um, the author is referring to. Because if, if you look Whenever he puts an example by Bach, all he does is say Bach. He doesn't say what piece it is. And I, as an editor, feel like I should probably go through and identify the pieces. So uh, there have been a handful that I can't really find, but most of them are not too hard to find. And so what I have to do is go through and put... Ah! Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, what I have to do is go through and put the... Uh, title of the piece and I put the BWV listing and the measures and the piece and so forth. Um, where was I on that? Uh, here's the example I was at. So uh, in the source code then I have to put this bit of uh, text right here and to help make it a little bit easier I've come up with a Python script and a voice command to launch the script and uh, the way I had been doing it was I've got like all of these uh, just a list of the examples that, I don't know, maybe I'll turn into an index or something later, or just a, a list of examples at the beginning of the book. <coughs> but what I had been doing is, uh, whenever I come across an example, I check to see whether I've used it before, and if I had, then I'll go ahead and just copy and paste it from the earlier place that I'd used it. Uh, but, I don't know, this is this is very tedious, and um, I, I came up with a better way today, and that is to use a voice command to launch this Python script which contains four lists. A list of all the preludes from the Welltemper Clavier book 1 and 2 and a list of all the fugues from the Welltemper Clavier books 1 and 2. And then I've got another Python script here for the inventions and symphonias. And uh, the lists include the title, you know, invention number one in C major, BWV 772, and so forth. So it keeps track of the keys and the invent the BWV numbers and all of that stuff that I like to have in the caption. And so what I do is I, uh, the way this works is I use the script name as the command and then two command line arguments. The first command line argument tells which list to pull the example from. This uh, script has four lists in it. It's actually one big list with four lists inside of it. So the first command line argument says which list to grab from uh, the list of four. And then the next one, that's so that's the which list um, variable. And then the which piece variable says which of the 24 pieces inside of the list to grab. And the way I do that is the second command line argument minus one. Because of course in Python lists are indexed starting with zero rather than with one. And the, let's see, the voice command that I use, uh, this is blather. And so uh, the commands are over here is what I want to be able to say to launch the command. And so if I say those words, I don't want to say it right now or else it'll probably launch the command. Uh, the part I've highlighted over here is the voice command and I follow that by right here. This part, the XDO tool key plus control plus left, control shift right and control C. Those are the keystrokes necessary to take the current word and copy it into the clipboard. And then it runs Oops, sorry, it did something based on my voice. <laughs> sorry about that. And then it runs my wtc.py script. And it, I offer the first command line argument as a sort of static thing, because I know if it's uh, the fugue from book one, it's going to be list the second list. And so that's index number one. And then the second command line argument is given by whatever the contents of the X clip are. And so I have this variable here. Um, whatever the, the output of X clip is, that is uh, command line argument number two. And then it runs the Python script based on those things and then puts it, the result of it back into the clipboard. Where is the, uh, th so the, there are all the lists. 
and the piece is identified by uh, the list and these are the two all pieces is the name of the big list and then the which list variable or sorry this is the index that says which list to choose from and this is the index uh, of which piece from that and then I use the Piper clip library to put the results of that into the clipboard and then from there once it's in the clipboard I run a virtual control V keystroke which pastes it back in my document so watch how this works from the voice command all right I've got a lot of thunder going on here um, so let's say I want to do uh, I, I found an example that is uh, I don't know the prelude number 22 from book 2 of the well timbered clavier so I'll type the number 22 and give the voice command book sorry it, book 2 prelude and there we go and let's say maybe I want the fugue number 4 from the first book book 1 fugue and let's see the invention number I don't know four no number three invention title and if it's one of the symphonias symphonia title see that that's pretty cool huh so this helps me um, avoid a lot of typing and it keeps track of the BWV numbers that was one of the things that was driving me crazy was always getting the correct BWV number so uh, anyway, that's an example of using Python lists to help avoid a whole lot of uh, typing and um, looking up of stuff. I let Python do the heavy lifting for me. And of course, blather to launch. And man, I love this Piper Clip. Uh, the Piper Clip library, I, I don't know if it's in any of the repos. I, I think I had to download it and install it as a just a, a separate Python library, but it is excellent for using with voice commands like these right here. Anyway, that's it. Uh, hope you guys thought that was cool. I sure do for myself. Okay, bye.